bank and all activity that support for the lifelong learning. It's my great honor to introduce you to know Professor Dr. Yang Waki. Please give him a big hand. Good morning. It's very nice to see you in here. Um, I love Thailand, especially the Thailand uh, uh, person's smile. When I visited Bangkok 20 years ago, at first time with my uh, family and my mother, and uh, at the time I was uh, so surprised because in Seoul, I always look at the people, the face, serious including me, like this. Okay, good. Let me look at you. Let me judge you. Looks like the uh, face is sad. But uh, I arrived in Bangkok, everybody is smile. Even, I just thought, you didn't look like happy. You didn't look like happy to me based on my judgment, but everybody at the street smile. So I was very surprised at the time, and I love being here. And also I love uh, meet Taiwanian. So last almost 30 years, I connect with them, Taiwan and China. Uh, the Taiwan people look so happy better than, uh, rather than Bhutan. As you know, uh, we mentioned that Bhutan is the happiest country in the world. But I mentioned what's the criteria, how to measure it, how to measure it. So I asked the questions, uh, the president of National Happiness Center, National Happiness Center in Bhutan several years ago uh, when I uh, visited there. And he didn't understand, why are you asking me? It's natural. We are the happiest person in the world. But based on my criteria, it's not happy. The reason I mentioned my experience when I come to, uh, came uh, to uh, the Bangkok first time, I don't know. I didn't know anything about the Thailand or your life, but just I judge. And I thought what I look like from my point of view. The credit bank system, several different countries try to adapt their country's credit bank systems. My final Final comment is, there is no fixed way. It depends on each country. For example, Korean credit bank system, we totally controlled by the government. That's Nile, National Institute of Lifelong Education. Nile is managed by Minister of Education. So Minister of Education support the steps salary. We have over 200 steps in Nile. So totally, we are following Ministry of Education's order, what they order. The Ministry of Education totally obey to the government. The government must change every five years. Especially the Minister of Education, their period average six to eight months. So what we need to follow. So Korean credit bank system is totally followed, controlled by the government. I Cons I uh, was consulting uh, the China, several different provinces because they want to adapt credit bank systems. The credit bank system was 
awarded and designated by the UNESCO and OECD is a good instrument, good strategy to open educational opportunity for all. So the international organization asked me, please make, make some typical manual to disseminate underdeveloped countries. I said, okay, we can only make our experience, but every, every country, they have a different background, environment, and most peer, and also psychologically, emotionally, their learning cultures are totally different. No fixed one. So, I will present what was happening in Korean credit bank systems. Is it okay to speak in English rather than Korean? <laughs> I can give my presentation in Korean fluently. <laughs> so the speed is okay? Okay. And I was, oh, time flies. I started 27 years ago uh, as a uh, professor in lifelong education. The Sungshul University Department of Lifelong Education is firstly studied in Korea. So uh, I um, served in lifelong education area, but my previous major, my undergraduate major is public administration and my master's degree is local government administration. And my doctoral degree is lifelong education, adult and continuing education in the United States. I got my PhD. So when I returned to my country, I couldn't get a job. Nobody offered even one hour lecture for me. They reject. And then they said, we don't need you because you are not person coming from teacher's college. Lifelong education must be the person from educational areas. So one more, one more they add, you are a female. Yes. we have a, a very strong Confucian culture in our country. So at that time, just imagine when I uh, got my position, my job, profession at the university, I was the seventh female professor. Our university, we have about 500 professors and I was the seventh. Now, now we have uh, around 30% of female rapidly increasing last 10 years. That, 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 that's how change rapidly everything's in Korea. So we just mentioned dynamic Korea, dynamic Korea. But now we just make a campaign, slow life, slow city. <laughs> so anyway, I um, after I a job at uh, the Department of Lifelong Education. My first uh, project involved was community education. My second project involved in credit bank system. At the time, we didn't call it Korea credit bank system. We didn't mention it. That's the year 1996. Why we Thinking credit banking systems, we have a very strong educational background gap among generation. As you know, we had a Korean War in 1990. At the time, Thailand supported us a lot. So we just mentioned uh, the friend country, Philippines. Thailand, and 
even my parents, their educational background is just three years, seven years, and most. So over 70, we just made the data. How many years they have the school experience? Over 90 is less than six years, less than elementary school. Especially, particularly female, no school experience, or almost 90%. So, 1994, we have a new election, and first time, it's the first time in our history, designated, selected, elected president from ordinary people instead of army. Before the time, all presidents coming from army. So, I think you remember that the mid of the 90s, internationally, they mentioned globalization. One word, internationalization. One village, something like that. So our president asked us, asked the Minister of Education, change our educational scheme. So he said it, presidential board of education. From that board, they suggested the idea. How can open higher education, college education access? As you know, we have a very strong competition to college entrance examination. So it's impossible, impossible all the peoples to take the examination and go to college. It's impossible. So they always mentioned, I really want to take a class at the university. I want a college degree. So we discussed what is the good way. It started from 1995. And then Caddy, Korean Educational Development Institute at the time, they had a project from the Minister of Education just to think about and suggested the idea. So we mentioned, okay, we just make any kind of learning experience collect, collect like money saved in our account, bank account. We save bank using our account Every day, we, if we earn the money, we just put and put and put and save. So we just bring those kind of idea to learning experience at college level. So that's called it credit, 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 just bring and save to bank, learning bank. So that's why we call it credit bank system. So I remembered we um, published, printed the first our uh, project um, uh, project report in 1996, and at the time we was just left uh, walking four person together and left. Do you think we need walk? I said no, I don't think so. Just it's a, a fun fun idea. Isn't it work? But anyway, many people agree. And then, OK, nobody knows it works. But it will be one alternative to extend, open an opportunity to get college degree, not from particular college name and any kind of learning experience just to collect. So 
at the time, in 1996, uh, when I was uh, working for that project, I read many cases from UK and United States. The reason I was involved at the time, because at the time I was very young. I was just 31 years old at the time. So they really need what's happening the United, in the United States. And I just a uh, brand new, fresh, fresh professors. That's the reason they just made me join that project. So everybody already retired. <laughs> At the time, uh, the uh, academic persons joined the project. And I brought uh, many cases from the United States. And I just uh, uh, rappered uh, the United States at the higher educational college, university level, the government don't mind. Only the regional association, like East Part, mid part and west part, they have their own association and then they exchange credit hours. So if somebody attend New York University, because the person got a job in New York, so he attending a night college program at New York University and he uh, attend two years. But his company asked to move in uh, San Francisco, San Jose. So how can the person attend, fly to uh, every day in New York and San Francisco? It's impossible. And uh, the credit uh, two years in uh, the school at uh, University of Washington, they accept and admit it. Even the credit, from Korea, the school, it depends on the school's regulation. They just accept. So I got that idea. And I um, suggested many examples uh, from the uh, credit exchange. And on other things, at the time I suggested portfolio. Uh, I think you know the portfolio. Some university in the United States, they admit 66 zero, half of the degree credit accept portfolio. Without any college attendant, if I'm working as a social worker, social worker at the field after I graduate high school, I worked social workers 20 years. 20 years, and who said I'm not, I was less qualified compared to young guy who just graduate college from Department of Social Work? How can we say? So the experience from at the practice, at the field, is very important. So. We accept that kind of experience transfer to credit. Or some people from um, engineering and science or uh, some architecture area, they take, they pass some certificate examination. So those kind of certificate transfer to the credit hours. So the paradigm shifting, the degree must prompt collected credit hours in the classroom from that kind of degree paradigm shift to what were you doing and what can you do now? What's your ability? What's your competency? So the paradigm shift. That's why we suggested credit bank hours. It works. It was blossom. We just finished um, our project 1996, and credit bank hour started 
in demonstration 1998. It was blossom and crowded, but uh, behind the story, it's not simply from those kind of idea or paradigm shifting was not accepted at the field. Many business, many person from business side, they just look, hmm, okay, good. It can make some money. It will be cash cow for our company. Because many people want to get a job and we got a much many potential participants. And then just they count the tuition, college degree tuition for years is almost 40,000 US dollar. Okay, we will make 10,000 US dollar for college degree. It's not fixed four years. It's not fixed period. Somebody can take crowd degree from crowd bank systems one hour, uh, one year, or one and a half year. So, from the business and industry, motivated. I will not judge is good or bad, right or wrong. I will not judge. Because to make, to develop, to make crowded the credit bank systems, we don't need to fix the credit source only from the university. We don't need to make limitations. Any place, any kind of industry, any kind of business or private, uh, vocational, training center, even cram school, okay, we will collect, we will collect your learning experience and your credit results. And then we will save, okay, this is 140. I will ish college degree. Okay, oh, you saved 80 credit hours. Okay, I will give you associate degree. And all degrees initiated under the name of Ministry of Education. People want to use their degree because the income and salary difference between high school graduation and college graduation is so big. So people want to use it. But it was not working they, we, what we proposed at the beginning. Oh, you are not coming from a particular university. Just the Minister of Education issued your degree. It's less valuable things. So, those kind of results from the field, we renovate, progressed our credit bank systems every year, and now. We have a uh, um, uh, uh, one. I I I I I don't know in English. <laughs> Zero point one two million person. It's a huge number registered the credit bank system. That's uh, our short history until now and. Uh, I will be using uh, my uh, PowerPoint, and uh, this afternoon I will share my, uh, I will give my PowerPoint to her, and also some uh, video file, and you can uh, use it. So anyway, I got a message from Tapani, and uh, it was very impressive. Support a Thai citizen, Thai citizen, Focusing on upskill, reskill, lifelong learning. Upskill, reskill, citizen. 
briefly mentioned, we have a different systems, private bank system for just a general citizen, we have learning account and learning city. And upskill and reskill, we have a vocational, lifelong vocational program, like a national qualification framework and national competency standard. So we have different kind of systems. But anyway, the background, here, I already mentioned you, and just think about SDG, Sustainable, Sustainable Development Goal, Sustainable Development Goal by United Nations, UN, UN. They set the new goal. It started the first one year 2000 to year 2015. 15 years, they set the goal. 15, I think 15, 14 or 15 goal in the world. At the time, lifelong learning or lifelong education was not, was not put the goal. But recently, the second period of sustainable development goal, number four, number four, they mentioned here quality of education and lifelong learning. They aware lifelong learning. So under the SDG, all meetings from international organizations, they have specific strategy and the presidential, regional presidential meeting or the presidential meeting under United Nations, they check each developmental course, how it progressed. So each country focused on lifelong learning. Simply not crowd bank systems. We are interested to national competence standard and national qualification framework. If you need it, uh, let me talk to you this afternoon. What is national qualification and uh, national uh, competence uh, standard that we did uh, last five years? And. Uh, to share our experience, I just read uh, some materials um, printed by, published by uh, United Nations and UNESCO and UNESCO um, uh, Asia Pacific, something like that. And the gap income, I already mentioned the high school uh, graduation and uh, university graduation. And this is our education uh, feature, 6334. But we have uh, those kind of achievement, top score, top scores, and high performance with low public cost. It's very important, it's very effective, efficient. But the other side of a coin, the shadow side is Yeah, huge private tutoring expenditure. Instead of government, instead of public money, every family, they paid from their pocket for their children's education. But anyway, anyway, low public cost, so, we are trying to bury equal within school and between school. Within school, inside among students, and out among different schools, making equal. It's a very 
important idea. For example, in the United States, it was not working. The difference among schools. So they are trying to benchmarking hours. In Korean case, it's work because the government control everything. And even we classified the school for primary and secondary school, we mentioned this is public school and this part is private school. Even we classified public school and private school, but the teacher's salary paid by the government. That's the big difference compared to other countries' Korean education systems. Purely private school means every budget and spending from the private, from the school. But in our case, our case, only private means school building and land paid by private. But the operation of the school by the government. That's big difference. So every school always watch what the Ministry of Education, what the government ordered us what they ask us. So that makes our education systems change so quickly what we want to any directions. So that's our characteristic. So to understand ours, you have to know and here, top level of teacher's salary. Our college or university started from two. Army, Army Academy and Teacher's College. So, the person who graduate college in case of female, it means teacher's college offered only one kind of job, teacher. So teachers have very high qualified. So the government paid high salary and it makes more competition being a teacher. So our systems, your systems, this part can work credit bank systems based on our experience. After 18 years, in this part, you can collect credit from this part and open here. You must consider how can the Thai credit bank system can make at this part, and it means this field, this part, will be the source of the credit. And I just found uh, from the UNESCO uh, report here, 2009 to 2000, increasing learning opportunities for all. It's very important. In 1995, our president mentioned, especially, particularly, Presidential Committee of Education mentioned Edutopia. Education plus utopia. And they just showed, the mentioned, uh, the president, okay, in Korean student, teenagers, is not 
in the hell of education, we will make utopia of education. So that's the big picture, road and pink picture of edutopia. And this part I just found. Lifelong learning and use of ICT. It's just a potential part. Working Thai credit bank systems. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. <coughs> and uh, our history of lifelong education is here. Basic plan we have, we have law, and then the Ministry of Education. This is National Institute for Lifelong Education, the Nile. The Ministry of Education, and we affiliated the control from the Ministry of Education, the Nile. Practice, make credit bank systems work at the field. And we also have the other side is committee. They decide everything by committee meetings. So project and scheme, blah, 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 blah. And I will give uh, this uh, PPT, and you can read and understand. Skip, this is our history from 1950s here, yeah. We have a lifelong learning promotion national plan. First plan, second, and third. It looks like yours from if year to So I made, I made more um, catchable what, what's our pathway, the mentioned the lifelong education. The first lifelong education uh, act initiated in 1982. Since that time, we change several things. And here, degree verification and caddy. But from 1998, nobody expect credit bank systems is increased like this. So, we need to establish independent institute to manage credit bank systems and institute. At the time, it was possible because the credit bank system earned so much money. I wonder how? If person register, put and save their credit, they paid. If we save the money, bank account, did you pay some money? No. But if you save your credit, learning experience to credit bank, you pay like college tuition because we have our staff and officers, employees who treat, handled everything. So it comes from individual or institute or particular college. The participants of crowd bank system, the stakeholders of crowd bank system, the unit can be an individual, uh, courses, several courses, or a major, or an institute, or a part of college. So. Any things they want to collect and save credit must be the control 
the Niles credit bank systems. So bring the credit from individual, from the college, from the institute. They just bring Nile and put our computer systems and then paid money. So when I was serving as the president of Nile from year 2014 to it, uh, 2017, almost three years ago, I always anxious because we have a huge individual data. It's a one period, 200 period, zero, zero, zero person. And I just checked one floor, our total building, one floor just to put the big computers. And uh, one day in the summer, at the summer, I just got a phone call from the North Korea last night. Our computer hacked, tried hacking 200 times. 200 times. I was very anxious since that time. And I asked to the Minister of Education, OK, please make separate space to put the computer and copy all data. If they hacking our crowd bank systems, every credit saved from individual gone away. So how can we get it? So I asked to separate different, the other province out of Seoul, make the space, having the copy one, but no money. I said, okay, I will go to another uh, min Ministry of Finance and I, I will ask them to set uh, the budget. But it was not working anyway. So, as a history, ju just so you can read it, this part I want to share with you. Vision and objectives. When you launched and when you start high crowd bank systems, you must share what will be the vision and objectives. Especially what's objectives? Why? Why Thai crowd bank system? I think you don't need to be hurry. You don't need to be hurry. You need to take time fully communicate what will be Thai credit bank objectives. In our case, giving college education opportunity to underprivileged, who didn't have, who lost the chance of higher education. And here, strengthen linking inside and outside of school systems. For example, we just call the high school like a vocational to train the students uh, like uh, uh, from the industry, uh, hardware industry. We just, they focused on skill training and people degrade, devalue, that's cool. So only the college focused on humanities. That idea, that kind of learning culture from Confucian. So people concentrate how to attend general university taking humanities 
and how to receive degree from there. So the skill or training is devalued. We have a many vocational and training centers and vocational training institute, but it was not treated the college degree. So we must shift the paradigm, general college or outside of the college, any kind of training and vocational education and skills must be respected as a college education degree. So our system needed to connect it inside and outside of the school. So that's the, our objectives. So you must think about uh, those kind of uh, objectives. It's not enough to mention about uh, this part, uh, self-exam, self-exams degree and learning account. It's different part, but self-examination, self-examinations, the person can take college degree, past examination, national examination, like a national uh, examination of nursery, national examination of doctor. Those kind of uh, certificate based college education. But the self-study examination degree means no attending school and just study by themselves. And two times a year, we taking examination. And if pass the examination, they can progress the college year. The first year's examinations, second year's examination, third year's examination, fourth year's examination, and past all four years' examination, he can take degree. A few, a few others, learners participate these systems. So during my period, inside of confidential data, I just analyze how effective self-study examination past degree. We, we, for example, we cost, it cost, it cost, for example, 100, but the effectiveness is only 120. So, based on our economical analysis, it must be demolished, the systems. I just analyzed, screened, who taking self-study examination from prison prisoner who are in jail. They cannot go out. They cannot take cyber university, online university, or radio and TV university. That's the audience, target audience, mainly participate. I said, okay, it's only a little tiny person, but the results, this system is highly critical on individual's life. So, okay, we must keep this system. So, at the time I decide, we must keep this system and ask to the Ministry of Education, we have to keep. So still, we have it. And the other one, 
um, just to skip it, a learning account. And Lifelong Education Act, this is the credit bank system and bachelor's degree examination of self-education that I mentioned. So those two systems connected. The self-examination started 1990, eight years before crowd bank systems. Eight years before crowd bank systems. Why it's not popular even it started crowd bank systems? Self-examination, self-education examination. It's very hard study alone. And also, the test questions depends on who are control the examinations. So, many publishers publish series of books. Do you want to get a self-examination degree in social work? Here is a series of books, first year, second year, third year, fourth year. Do you know how much is that book in 1990? I visited that publishing company in 1993. At the time, it was 2,000 US dollar. At that time, in 1993. So that was my research topic. It was very curious and I was so angry because the publishing company visit every house and sell the book. Oh, mother, aunt, you didn't have a college degree. Do you want it? Okay, if we read this book and just memorize and taking the exam, and then you can receive college degree. So, it's a big problem. Even although they purchased the book $2,000, they cannot understand. So, what's usage? That printed letter, printed one. It makes our government developed new kind of idea and systems. Instead of self-examination, is there any things make the people more easy and convenient? So, the self-examination connected to credit bank systems. If you attend, you can two years, two years of college. You cannot, uh, we admit, pass the examination when you are taking courses at the university. It means the person is not that college student. Only some courses taking or university. So they only take 30 years and fourth years examination. That's how connected both two systems. And now the credit bank system is also connected to KMOC. When I make the scheme of KMOC year 2014, I um, made the scheme of KMOC uh, year 2014, June. So I reported to uh, the Blue House the whole scheme of KMOC. At the time, I included the idea and systems KMOC, the results of KMOC experience, 
connect to credit bank systems for the all nation. So it started, it's working last year. Anyway, connected to those systems and how credit bank system is operated. Instead of credit bank systems, we put academic credit bank system. Do you know why? When we started credit bank systems, just we thought simple, the credit bank systems, but credit bank system can be popular more and more many different part using the credit bank systems. So to differentiate and focus on more college degree credit bank systems, we put the academic here. So this is academic credit bank systems. The learning experience inside, outside of school system, inside, outside, inside taking the class, one course or two course, one program or two program, and outside the school from the vocational training center or that I uh, uh, have some certificate. It transfer to credit hours. So it's very specifically classified how measure the credit hours evaluation. And also the lack of recognition and accumulation of credit. From here, we accumulate to save the credit. And then finally, 80 credit issued associate degree two-year college degree, and 400, 140, it depends on the government, 140 and sometimes 160 degree awarding. That's the simple process of crowd bank systems. How to earn a degree? Selecting a degree type. It's exactly the same. When we apply to the university first time, just to think, decide, what will be my major? Social work, education, educational technology, nursing, law, computer, something like that. So decide, decide major, and then getting credit. Any place, we have uh, some list of credit bank system, institute, college, and centers. Huge number of the institute and centers and colleges acquire the credit. And then apply the credit recognition at Nile. The obtain my account, open my account to save my credit and apply. If you have 140 hours credit, you can save 150 and 200 and 300 without asking college degree, without the degree. But if you want a degree, after 100 or 160 savings, you ask to issue college degree, and then awarding a degree. It's very simple. And the same process of general college. So first, self-examination. Uh, I will give uh, this uh, material and just read it. So, more specifically, like this one, and who takes, who takes, just to read. <sighs> I had many projects. I, I involved many projects 
for uh, the academic crowd bank systems. Last 20 years, since I'm, um, okay, in 19, I joined from the 1996, and then blah, blah, blah. In 1999, I was involved in another project. That's how we accept and making recognition of the learning experience, uh, the credit from cyber university or online, online lecture. So I did that project in 1999. And at the time, my experience, I uh, included very, very specific uh, criteria and standard. If some institute, organization, center, or training school can make their online course open for credit bank learners, you have certain amount of space, you have a certain number of teachers hired, and how many steps, and library condition, and also, I put, you must have separate toilet, male and female. Because always bother me, Many buildings, when I went to there for uh, the evaluation, only male restroom, toilet, or one toilet, the gate, males, so I cannot use the toilet. So I just put the criteria, must have separate toilet, one, male and female, man and woman. So that's, that, that's the behind the story. After the time, uh, I had another project in year 2005, 2004, yeah, 2004, five, six, and seven. Many, many um, high school attenders go to abroad, like Philippines and China, and they attend the college in there, but it's almost impossible to finish language barriers and different systems. So they return to Korea, especially IMF, International Monetary. In 1998, we had a critical economic crisis. And another crisis was the year 2007. So the family, the father and mother, the parents cannot support their children who are starting abroad. So they return, come back to country. They didn't finish. But they really want to get a degree and keep their study at the college. But if they want to get college education, they must take college entrance examination in Korea. Even two or three years, they are taking college courses in China, in Vietnam, in Philippines. So my project was the credit, the learning experience from foreign country. Any college or university can transfer their credit in their school because to admit their credit hours, they must be taking entrance examination. But nobody wants taking entrance examination. It's very competitive. So instead of that, they register credit bank systems. But we don't have any standard how make their learning experience to transfer credit hours. So. I, my project was uh, Vietnam, Philippines, and China, and other countries in uh, Asia. How, how 
can admit each learning experience. So I studied with um, Chinese, the a person in China, and uh, studying, researching their college systems. It's so different with us. In Korea, we have uh, monotonous systems. Must be four years college, uh, uh, getting the college degree. But in China, some province is two years, some province is three years, some province is three and a half years. In Philippines, some area, some school is only six months. Only six months, within six months, you pay four years tuition, you can take a degree. It was a shock to me. So I was regret why I accept this project. Because there is no solution from my point of view. And anyway, I just looked at what's happening in different countries. And anyway, I made it, but I don't have any results in my brain. <laughs> it was very hard at the time. So um, the various, various experience and different experience, different type of uh, credit sources. It's time? Okay, okay. We must be handled. Okay, let me skip and just read it. It's very important, the source of credit. Just look. Understand? Next? Okay. Yeah. Just look this one. Understand? <laughs> I'm a very good lecturer. Okay, next. Yes, standardize the curriculum. And then make standard curriculum. And I found some professors just to put the standard curriculum following the textbook chapters. No, that's not. So we controverse a lot about standard curriculum. Last 20 years, more than 20 years, we progressed, standardized the curriculum, like elementary and secondary school. So we have a progressed, standardized curriculum. So you must focus the standardized curriculum and what will be the source of credit for Thai credit bank systems. And this is degree type. Is it possible medical school degree? No. Yeah, current status, 202 major here. It's developed and increasing many participants like this, enrolled learners. The Ministry of Education, I uh, started here, the Nile position year 2014 and the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Finance and Budget, they asked me, we cannot, we will reduce annual budget for credit bank system because the number of learner decreased. So I analyzed all data and then I found it means our system was successful because who are starving college degree, they already receive it. And then I showed the data who are participating credit bank system here, 
two third, 60, over 66% already received college degree, but they register credit bank system. That means re-skill up, skill advanced competence in their job to transfer job or advance their job. And then they couldn't cut the budget. So data is very important. That's not working. What's wrong? No, no. <laughs> I have more. <laughs> No, it's not the last one. <laughs> Anybody help me? I have 105 PPT. It's only 32. <laughs> okay, let me show you one uh, video file. That's okay. We start. Any questions? Okay, any questions? I don't know. Because we don't have annual data. And just to, that data was confidential. As a president at the time, I collect all data in uh, Nile systems. So it's not uh, shared out of Nile. So that's why I mentioned some confidential data, including my presentation. Is it OK? Mm-hmm. If you don't mind, just uh, I will show uh, my notebook. And just one.
the middle. <laughs> and the outcomes, individual level, community level, in institute level, and country, national level. And it's a story, real story. Award at the graduation ceremony. It's morning time five. I think that uh, Professor Key will go back in the afternoon session. We, we can ask her or like the many things that we have a topic to comment or many issue that we can uh, discuss with her again in the afternoon. There's time for lunch. So hungry. <laughs> And actually, the lunch will uh, serve you at the, the fourth floor. We'll, you can find the banner that post in TCU logo. And then we'll come back around 1, I think 1.30. Maybe better start in 1.30. Thank you so much, Professor Key. And we'll go back to see you again in the afternoon. Thank you. MOOC Credit Bank and all activity that support for the lifelong learning.